there, it's Mike Wise with CMG Home Loans and your weekly mortgage update. Uh, last week I skipped a video, this week we're going back to the video board here and uh, where we're at. So the Fed, uh, this week they basically said, hold on, not so fast. They're putting on the brakes on a possible rate cut in December. Uh, we'll see what happens here. Chairman Powell came out this week and basically said the economy is very solid and that allows for us to consider rate cuts carefully. So they've already lowered uh, interest rates by three quarters of a point since September. We are expecting another rate cut in December of at least a quarter, if not a half a point. So we'll see what happens uh, at that point in time here uh, when they do meet. So this week, the uh, inflation numbers came out, consumer price index. It is still, you can see on a downward uh, pressure here uh, for the inflation. And that is good news. If you look at the 12 month run rate, that is at 3.3%. And the six month run rate is, uh, is the best because that is where we had some higher numbers, uh, uh, you know, 13, 14, 15, 16 months ago, and those have dropped off. And now the three month run rate, we're, we're kind of in this time frame where we're not gonna see inflation drop too much. In fact, the three month run rate is uh, at three and a half percent. So it's a little bit higher than the six month run rate. And, but the Fed, they're looking at this carefully. Uh, I don't see any problems with this. Inflation is coming down. We are seeing lower uh, lower numbers here. Shelter is still uh, kind of showing, uh, it's stubborn, it's still up there. It's still showing 0.38% uh, month over month and 4.88 uh, uh, year over year, which is unchanged uh, from last month. So a lot of things that, uh, wanna, a couple things I wanna point out here is that the airline fares, they were up 3.2% and 4.8%. 1% year over year. Used cars, uh, they were up only 2.7% and down 3.4% year over year. So that's showing that the used car market is getting a little bit softer. And then motor vehicle insurance, uh, that uh, actually dropped month over month. So a lot of these are good signs here. You can see that year over year that it's only gone up. The uh, If you take everything out, it's only gone up 0.2%. So if you take out all these things that are up here and leave the core in there, it's only gone up 0.2% year over year. So inflation is uh, starting to come down here, uh, which is good news. And so uh, with the Fed, what they're looking at here is really uh, the jobs market and kind of where we stand with the, the jobs market. So the Fed, they're basically saying, hold on, put on the brakes. We don't need to drop interest rates in December if the economy is doing uh, so well. So Federal Chairman Powell, basically it allows with this economy to uh, carefully consider rate cuts, not having to absolutely have the rate cuts necessary. So the economy, it's not sending any signals that we need to be in a hurry to lower interest rates. And it gives us the ability to approach our decisions very carefully carefully. But uh, the Boston Fed uh, president said yesterday that another rate cut in December is certainly on the table, but it is not a done deal. So it is not a done deal that they are going to rate, uh, cut rates. This has had an impact on uh, the market and on interest rates. And so I'll show you that in just a second here. We're going to clear this screen and move forward. And uh, so the impact here is, is that on the treasuries, we've seen a clear, like I've drew the lines here, this is a clear channel of the price is going down, which is the yield going up, and the yield has gone up to 4.45%. It's been a consistent ride up uh, uh, for the last month here of interest rates. And so that has had a very negative impact on the interest rates. And I think that it's going to get worse before it gets better with the interest rates. And um, this week, we actually saw rates uh, uh, go up even a little bit further here, 7.02% on a 30-year fixed rate. So we're over 7% on uh, interest rates. Uh, the 30-year fixed rate up to seven, and the jumbo side up to 7.2%. I am quoting interest rates anywhere from the six and three quarters up to seven and a quarter percent uh, right now on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage. So 
uh, if we look at and we compare uh, versus, uh, you know, a year ago, one year ago, we were at 7.58% and now we're currently at 7%. So interest rates, we saw them going down here. We thought we were going to get some relief with some interest rates. They are back up. The bond market does not think that the uh, economy is slowing. And uh, so they've actually pushed interest rates up based on what they're feeling. And the Fed just confirmed that this week week. So uh, I don't see that uh, interest rates are going to be going down anytime soon. One of the things I wanted to give to you here was the uh, 2024 profiles of buyers and sellers. So this is a kind of nerdy stuff that you want to uh, look at here. But basically what we're looking at is the median age of a first time home buyer in 2023 was 35 and now it's 38%. So it's gone uh, or 38 is the, the age of a first time home buyer so clearly going up median age of all buyers 49 was in 2023 now up to 56 years old for all the, that's the median age of all buyers sellers went from 60 years old to 63 years old so people are holding on to their houses a little bit longer and selling them a little bit later uh, basically not, not much of a change but 89% sold with a real estate agent versus 90% in 2024 and then uh, first uh, for sale by owners was six percent of the transaction so uh, not uh, this is an all-time low for uh, for sale by owners on uh, the uh, on, on your real estate <clears throat> Median, this actually is another slide that I wanted to go over with you, is the median net worth of renters versus owners. So if you're in the market for rent, uh, for renting, or you are renting right now, this is something that you wanna take a look at and make sure that you understand. Because this is uh, from uh, the NAR, National Association of Realtors, and the Federal Reserve. And basically the net worth of somebody that actually um, sorry I just uh, went back a slide there that actually uh, owns real estate is 295,000 versus uh, $7,300 in 2019 2022 it goes up to 396 and then to 415 so if you look at the net worth for renters it goes to, it's at $10,000 this is a, again nationwide but at the end of the day buying real estate is better for you and, and your net worth you're gonna grow your net worth over time as a result of owning real estate so make sure you uh, if you do not own and you uh, rent right now make sure that you do reach out to uh, to your agent to start looking at houses and then again my special uh, we are offering especially with the interest rates going up we have a one-year buy down that I'm paying for it's a lender paid buy down uh, and I can show you how that works and where you get a lower interest rate for a year you save about $200 um, more per month on your mortgage payment. So give me a call. I will be around this weekend. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Have a great weekend and we'll talk to you next week.